in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, take me along that holy way you once took to your death. Take my mind, my memory, above all, my reluctant heart. And let me see what you once did for love of me and all the world. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. There is Jesus now, standing quietly and calmly before Pilate. He is bruised and bleeding from beatings. They have made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Pilate wants to please the people, so he believes their false stories about Jesus. He orders that Jesus be crucified. Oh, poor Jesus, how can they do this to you? You, who are so gentle and kind to us all, but how can you be so calm and quiet when they spread untrue stories about you? Why do you not shout, No, I'm innocent. Stop hurting me. Dear Jesus, please help me to never falsely accuse anyone or to ridicule or insult them. Make me kind and loving to all. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. Now the soldiers make Jesus carry the heavy cross through the streets. He looks so tired and weak. The people seem to be pleased with his humiliation and suffering. Such hostility I do not understand. Each of us has our cross to carry. We each have problems big and small. Even though we often do not understand why, we go on and believe. Dear Jesus, help me to carry my crosses. Help me to do what is expected and give my all. Through my belief in you, I will be able to continue on, even through suffering and when I do not understand. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have saved the world. The cross is sometimes too heavy even for Jesus. He has fallen to the ground but he drags himself to his feet and continues on his journey. I see you, Jesus, struggle with your cross and weight of the wood pulling you down. The hostility of the crowd also weighs on you until both you and your burden fall to the ground. But you get up slowly, determined and motivated. Where do you get your strength? Dear Jesus, help me to be patient with everyone. When my own cross gets heavy, help me to not give up easily, but to struggle on. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. Jesus' mother, Mary, pushes herself to the front of the crowd and meets her son, Jesus. How can she cope knowing that her son is in such pain and will soon have a terrible death? No mother should have to go through this. Why doesn't someone take her away? I would not want to see my mother to suffer as she is suffering. Where does she get her strength? I can see she is determined to be there for you to the very end. Oh Jesus, help me to always be a comfort to our own mothers. As you comforted your own mother on that Friday, they love us so much and their thoughts and prayers are always for their children. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. The, the soldiers notice Jesus is too exhausted to go on, so they force a man named Simon to help Jesus carry his cross. Jesus. At last someone has helped someone is ordered to help you. He does so reluctantly, no doubt fearing the ridicule of the crowd. Isn't it ironic that you have disciples numbering in the thousands, yet you must walk your last journey alone with only a stranger to assist you? O oh Jesus, help me to always be willing to help others who are in need. I do not want to be selfish. Help me to show love and compassion to everyone.
The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus with a cloth. His kind, loving face is covered with sweat and blood. Where did she get the courage to rush past the soldiers and act in such a kind manner? The soldiers were angry with her, but Jesus smiles and thanks her. The image of his face stays on the cloth as a reminder of all that Jesus suffered. Jesus, a woman came from the, cl- the crowd and taking fresh linen cloth, wipes the blood and sweat from your face. For the first time today, I feel a small stirring of hope. Someone has found a simple way to ease your discomfort. It is surprising how one act of kindness can give hope even where there seems to be no escape. Dear Jesus, help me to be kind like Veronica. Teach me to show love and kindness to others always. Even the simplest acts of kindness can mean so much. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. Jesus is so tired that he falls again under the weight of the heavy cross. He is bruised and bleeding, and the soldiers whip him to hurry him along. Jesus, you fall again, and once more you manage to get up. I see your limbs with weakness. The scourging has sapped you of all your strength. Will you be able to continue? Dear Jesus, help me to be strong and determined when nothing seems to be right. When I am not doing well in life, help me to keep on trying and do my best to improve. Please don't let me give up. station, Jesus speaks to the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. Mary and some of the other women are crying and feeling so sorry for Jesus. They love him very much. As he passes them, Jesus speaks to them, even though he is very tired and weak. He asks them not to cry for him, and they seem to be comforted by his words. Had I been you, I would have cursed the crowd and the fate that had brought me to this way of the cross. But you speak only words of compassion for the anonymous women who showed you pity. Weep not for me, you say. Weep for yourselves and your children. Their future pain is more real to you than your own. Dear Jesus, help me to be a comfort to others when they are suffering. Teach me not to think of my own troubles, but to reach out and help my family and friends. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. By now, Jesus is absolutely exhausted. He has come to the hill where he will be crucified, and as he carries the cross up the hill, he falls the third time. I'm sure he feels that he can't go on anymore. Jesus, I can hardly bear to watch you struggle. You fall a third time, and then without hesitation, Without assistance, without any prodding, you rise. You get up again. What is the destiny and the designation that calls you forward? What vision keeps you going? Dear Jesus, give me courage and strength to go on when I am not doing well. The drive to go forward despite adversity, to make it on my own with energy and vitality. The Turn Station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. Finally reaching Golgotha, the soldiers roughly tear Jesus' clothing from his battered, blood-stained body. He is so weak and frail. They divide his clothes among themselves and cast lots, lots for his tunic. Jesus, your journey is over. As if following in a custom routine, the soldiers remove your garments. 
And what do you have left? Everything seems to be taken from you. Your good name, your physical well-being, your following of disciples, and now even your decency. Oh Jesus, they have taken away your clothes, but they have not taken away your great love for us. You have shown love to us even when we abandoned you. Help us never to abandon you again, but to love you always. The Eleventh Station, Jesus is now to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. The agony Jesus is in, and the soldiers nail his hands and feet to the cross, the pain on his face. But still he asks his Father in heaven to forgive the soldiers. Is there no end to this man's compassion and love and forgiveness? The horror of the day has finally begun to touch the crowd. The soldiers nail you to the cross, yet in your unconditional compassion and forgiveness, you ask for mercy on those who have put you through this ordeal. Dear Jesus, help me to love and forgive my family and friends, even when they hurt me. Teach me not to bear grudges and have enemies, but to forgive and forget. station Jesus dies on the cross we adore you O Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have saved the world after three long hours on the cross poor Jesus dies darkness settles over the land even though it is only three o'clock in the afternoon the earth trembles and we are all and we are all afraid I am so sad to see Jesus dead on the cross Lord Jesus your broken and lifeless body calls me to deeper faith you chose death even on the cross help me to see my crosses as ways of loving you. Dear Jesus, I know you have died on the cross today. To show me how much you love me, there is no end to your love. You died to save me. I do not deserve all this love, and yet I know you will always love. You're, you will love me always. The 13th station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. His heartbroken mother, Mary, holds him in her arms and cries. It is so sad to watch her holding the limp body of her son. After all the waiting, the end comes quickly. There is a finality about it all. Your lifeless body taken down from the cross. There is nothing glorious about your death. A heavy, heavy weight pulls me down and oppresses my spirit. Dear Jesus, help me to be a comfort to others who are sad. Help me to console my family and my friends when they are upset. The 14th Station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have saved the world. A kind man named Joseph offers a tomb to Mary for the body of Jesus. With great love and sadness, his body is wrapped in a clean sheet and laid in the tomb. His tomb is a small garden and a big stone blocks the opening of the tomb. The soldier is offered to stand guard over the tomb in case someone tries to seal Jesus' body. Your burial takes place quietly. Those who stayed with you these last hours are those who shared in your hopes and dreams. Their sorrow weighs heavily on them, but they continue to tell their stories about the one they called the Messiah. You preach love and forgiveness. I saw it overcome by the weight of the cross. I saw it suffer, and I saw it die. I saw love today, and it was beautiful. Dear Jesus, there are many times in our lives when things fall apart. When dreams are shattered, when hope no longer seems possible, in our poverty, our brokenness, we come to you for healing. In those times of trial, Jesus, remind us of your love, remind us of your forgiveness, remind us of your promise to be with us always, and grant us the grace to go forward in faith.
On the third day, Christ rose again. Suddenly, without warning, Jesus stood before them and said, Peace, do not be afraid. Go and carry the news to the others, in that they are to go to Galilee, where they will see me. Matthew 28. We are to are called to go in peace and carry the good news to others. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. of Calvary You the perfect Holy One crushed your Son who drank the bitter cup reserved for me Your blood has washed away my sin Jesus thank you the Father's right Thank you, once your enemy, now see 